Hello everyone, here are the latest market news on January the 28th, 2020. Johnson set to admit Huawei to 5G network building. UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson has hinted that he wants Huawei to be involved in British 5G mobile network building in defiance of US objections and widespread concern from party colleagues that this decision could create a long-term surveillance risk. The Prime Minister said he would unveil a compromise plan according to which the UK will allow Huawei to supply 5G equipment, which is more advanced and cheaper than its rivals, but with a string of restrictions aimed at placating Washington. However, this plan has to be accepted by senior cabinet minister at a crunch meeting of the National Security Council on Tuesday. Priti Patel, the Home Secretary, had the skeptical ministers whose numbers are also said to include Ben Wallens, the Defense Secretary, but others in Westminster say they are mounting rear guard action that will ultimately make little difference. Philips plans to sell its kitchen appliance unit. Royal Philips and Lee is planning the sale of its kitchen appliance business, which generates 2.3 billion euros, 2.5 billion dollars in sales as part of Chief Executive Officer Franz Van Houten remake of the company into a focused healthcare equipment maker. After existing other home goods like TVs, DVD players, and lightning, a sale of the kitchen unit would free up funds for investment in healthcare, where Philips competes with Siemens Healthineers. According to Van Houten, divesting of the business will help reinforce Philips' own focus on health technology technology as we are able to boost that portfolio further. Meanwhile, Philips on Tuesday reported fourth quarter results that showed comparable sales grew 3.3% below the 5.2% average estimate of analysts. The shares declined 0.2% to 44.20 euros as in Amsterdam, where the company is based. European stocks recover Asian markets fall. European shares climbed on Tuesday after posting their worst day in about four months in previous session amid concerns about the potential impact on businesses from the coronavirus outbreak. In early European trades, the pan-region Eurostax 50 futures and German DAX futures each rose 0.3 percent, and London's FTSE added 0.1 percent. Airbus shares had a biggest impact after saying it had agreed to reach a settlement with French, British and U.S. authorities regarding a probe into allegations of bribery and corruption. The S&P 500 in many contracts also soared 0.5%. Meanwhile, Asian stock markets continue to drop, with MSCI's broadest index of Asia-Pacific shares outside Japan slumped 0.8%, Japan's Nikkei lost 0.6%, and South Korea's Kospi index decreased 3%. As the death toll reached 106 in China, the country extended the Lunar New Year holiday to February 2 nationally and to February 9 for Shanghai. Dollar rises despite sentiment improvement. The U.S. dollar traded at an eight-week high against its rivals on Tuesday as investors focused on the economic fallout from a new coronavirus in China, though broader market sentiment stabilized with the recovery of Chinese yen. Against a basket of its rivals, the U.S. currency rose 0.1 percent to 98.01, its highest level since early December. The Australian dollar and its New Zealand counterpart led losers against the greenback falling 0.2 percent and 0.1 percent, respectively. Investors' attention was was firmly focused on the Chinese currency in the offshore market, with mainland markets shut for holidays this week. In early London trade, in the Chinese currency gained 0.2% to 6.97 yen per dollar. Strength in the offshore yen provided some calm to nervous currency markets. The Chinese currency has declined more than 2% in less than a week against the dollar.